How to avoid credit card fraud when buying things online. The more you buy things online, the more likely you are to open yourself up to credit card fraud. Buying things online simply makes life easier, but it's more dangerous in a sense. Whenever you make a transaction online, you have to ask yourself, was that website secure? Am I going to be taken advantage of? Unfortunately with so many people seemingly not caring about other people, credit card fraud is a major issue, especially for people who often buy things online. Listed below are some steps and tips for you to take to better avoid credit card fraud when you're shopping online. 1. Look at the URL bar each time you visit a shopping site. If you notice that the web address starts with HTTP, leave that page immediately. The most secure shopping sites will have HTTPS in the web address. 2. Don't store your credit card information on websites. This enables hackers and companies to access your information. From there, they can steal your money and can even steal your identity. If your login information is saved and your card is stored, it's very easy for anyone to access your credit card information with just a couple of clicks. Always manually input your information when buying things online. Never save it on your computer or the websites you go on to to buy things. 3. Check your monthly statements regularly. If you are always checking your credit card statements, you can better avoid people taking advantage of you and your money. When you're checking on a regular basis, you will be able to alert the credit card company that you believe someone may have stolen your credit card information. From there. They will be able to reimburse you the money you've lost and prevent any more money being stolen from you. 4. Virtual and disposable credit cards do exist, so use them. These types of credit cards provide you with another layer of protection from credit card fraud. It's a fake credit card, but it's charged just like a real one. However, unlike a real credit card, it won't give out your information to fraudulent companies and potential hackers. 5. Use your credit or debit card as liability protection. The federal law states that the liability for credit card fraud will only allow the consumers to be responsible for $50 for any fraudulent purchases. However, there are a bunch of other laws surrounding credit and debit card fraud, so it can take banks forever to completely reimburse you. The FTC has created a chart you can look at to determine how much liability you have on your credit card. This should help to get your money back faster if you are ever taken advantage of. Credit card fraud is a major issue that many people are trying to fix and get rid of. However, until that day comes, you will have to learn how to stop credit card fraud from ever happening to you.